Good afternoon, everybody. I was not planning on vlogging today. I was actually planning on filming a holiday gift guide. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, maybe it is way too early to be filming a holiday gift guide. I got a little bit too excited about Christmas. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna vlog today because I was planning on filming anyways. So that's kind of why I have my hair and makeup and outfit all on. I'll show you guys my outfit of the day anyways because I'm about to kind of downgrade it a little bit so it's more, you know, running errands kind of friendly. So here's what I'm wearing right now. I think it's really cute actually. I was inspired by my Pinterest feed and so I just have on this collared shirt that I got from ASOS, this sweater vest that is from Zara, and this little tennis skirt that I got from Sturettes. And then I also have these boots on that are from Steve Madden. They're actually very comfortable, but I'm gonna switch into tennis shoes because I know my leg ain't gonna like wearing heels running around to the grocery store and stuff. So I don't really know what the day has in store for us. Marcus is actually out filming for his IGTV series, Fake Book Marcus Place. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. It's honestly hilarious. So he's filming his last episode of that today. So he's out and we have really no food in the house. I need to go get some groceries. I'm gonna go get some lunch probably. Also tried a new lip combination. Uh, I feel like it looks very different than my normal lip color. You guys are probably like, Kristen, that looks like the same lipstick you always wear. But I feel like it's a little more orangey, nudie. I'm liking it. I'm really liking it. I'm actually just wearing this lip liner. I got this during the Sephora sale they were just having. It's from Melt Cosmetics and it's in the shade Headbang. But it's a really pretty nude color looks like this on your lips and then I just put a little gloss on top of it. Just put some laundry in the laundry machine and I changed out of my boots. I'm about to put on just some tennis shoes. You know, I wear white tennis shoes almost every single day. These are probably my favorite if I'm wearing like a cuter outfit. I like to wear these little New Balance shoes and I swear my dad has these exact shoes. I'm not even kidding you but they're so comfy and I just really love them. Do you guys remember the days that I could even put on my own shoes because my leg would not bend? Now, every time I think about it, when I'm putting on my shoes, I'm like, thank goodness I can put on shoes again by myself. Okay, comfy shoes are on. I'm almost ready to go. I realized that Marcus took our car to go out and about and film. So Nolan, his friend that helps him shoot a lot of his videos, is letting me use his car. So that's very nice. I always get nervous to use and drive other people's cars. Just because I'm like, Ugh, I don't know. But it'll be fine. So here we go. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but we did put some Christmas decorations up. We actually filmed us putting up all the Christmas stuff and getting into the holiday spirit for our joint channel because we always have like a Christmas vlog once a year. So I won't show you guys everything so you can be a little bit surprised in that video, but I'll just show you the Christmas tree because you'll probably see it in this video some way or another, but I know, I know. It is a fake Christmas tree. Who have we become? But you know, we decided that after two years, I think, of having a real Christmas tree, we were like, why do we get a real Christmas tree when we go home to Florida every year and we come home and there's pine needles everywhere? The tree is dead, it's like so dead, it's sad. So we decided that for the years that we do go to Florida, we're just putting up this fake Christmas tree because it's still beautiful. It's not an ugly tree, but you know, me and Marcus do love real Christmas trees, but I know some of you are gonna be a little shocked that we have a fake Christmas tree, but it's okay, and that's our reasoning. We also got this decoration. Isn't this the cutest decoration you ever saw? It's a little, it's a little uh, Grinch dog. You know the Grinch's dog? I really think it looks exactly like Honey. You just need some antlers, Honey, and you can be that dog. I forgot the dog's name. Max? Max is his name! You're like Max! 
But you're a girl. Does anyone else see the resemblance? I see it. I'm in my new car. Just kidding. Definitely not my car, but I wanted to try these sunglasses on for the first time. I got these on Amazon and uh, I got them in a pack of three. Sorry, some lady was watching me and I felt very self-conscious. Let's see if they're cute. They were super inexpensive and hmm, I don't think I'm cool enough for this. You kind of have to be like a cool girl. Uh, wait a second. I look like James Bond. Hey guys, I'm James Bond. I feel like um, I'm just not cool enough for them. <laughs> they look so silly on me, but I bet they'll, they're, re you know, really cute on somebody else that's way cooler than me. But I just can't, I don't know. Maybe I need to get used to them. I've been sitting here thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There's a little cat. I really want to go see it. Can I go pet that cat? Cats usually want me to pet them. Come here, kitty. It's not a stray cat, don't worry. It has a collar on. It's eating grass right now. Kitty! It's so cute. Hi, kitty. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Hi. Oh my gosh. It loves me. Are you a mama? Are you a mama? Oh my gosh. I'm in just a random alleyway, don't worry. That's why I don't have my mask on. Okay, she's leaving. She wants to do her own thing. I get it. See you later. See you later, kitty. Okay, anyways, I was saying, I've really been thinking about what I want for lunch and all that sounds good is Taco Bell and I'm right by Taco Bell. So I think the decision is I need to get Taco Bell and I haven't had it in like over a week. If you guys know, I just have these spurts of loving Taco Bell and then like months will go by and I'm like, Taco Bell, it sounds disgusting. And then it's like all that I want. So currently I'm in the phase where it's all that I want and I'm gonna go get it because why not? Taco Bell is good for your soul. Here you go. Thank you. Can I do what you receive? No, that's okay. okay. Thank you. I get a cheesy gordita crunch. I'm not gonna eat this in this car because it's not my car and I feel like that's kind of rude, but um, this is a cheesy gordita crunch with uh, the shell as the Dorito shell. And then I get it with no ranch on it because I just feel like it gets too gooey. And then I also get, just for a little snack, a cheesy roll up which is like the most child thing you could get it's basically just a tortilla with cheese in it and then um, a little hot sauce i'll um eat this probably like outside and then i'm gonna go to the grocery store why was that the best thing i've ever eaten in my whole life like every bite is just mm, so good but now i'm gonna go to the grocery store get some groceries so then i don't resort to eating taco bell every day but um, I think I'm just gonna go to Whole Foods because they have certain things at Whole Foods that they just don't have at Trader Joe's. Like, Trader Joe's is just, you know, you probably understand what I'm saying. Like, there's just certain things that you just can't get there. Like, just like really random things that you might need. And Lexi texted me and John earlier and she said she wants to do dinner at her house tonight. So I think we're gonna be making something together. Don't know what yet, but yeah, let's head to Whole Foods. Got done oh, at Whole Foods. 
So I have all the stuff in the trunk and I'll show you guys a few of the things I got when I get home. Not too much interesting stuff. I got like two kind of interesting things that I'm excited about. But um, I'm gonna head home now. I hope Marcus is home. I don't think he is. But um, it is, what time is it? 5.04 now. I'm going to Lexi's for dinner at seven. So let's head home. Whoa, I just put on a lipstick that I did not realize was this um, bold. Oh my gosh, Camper is drinking the ocean over there. Look at these tulips. They are the most beautiful I've ever seen, so I had to grab them. And even in the store, a few people stopped me and were like, oh, those are beautiful. They're just like very special, so um, I'm gonna put these in this little vase and I'll show you what they look like. Here is what the bouquet looks like. It's honestly making me feel happy because it's like spring vibes and everything has been so dark lately. I don't know. This just brings a nice pop of color to my life. Also, we had one tiny casualty, but tell me if you guys are the same when you buy flowers. I just cannot bear to just let one that breaks off just go in the trash. So. I just put him in his own little cup and I'm gonna leave him out because it's still beautiful so I'm not gonna throw him away. And then besides just my normal groceries that I always get, I got a few things that I'm really really excited about. I'll save the most exciting one for last, but first of all, look at this. This is the biggest grapefruit. Look how big it is compared to my head. It's literally massive, so I got it because, I don't know, grapefruit sounds great, and that was just so big, I couldn't pass it up. I also found these Unreal Dark Chocolates with crispy quinoa in them. Something about that sounds so good to me, so let's try it. They're like Whole Foods version of M&M's. Mmm. That's very good. I also got this cutest coffee I have ever seen. And I'm pretty sure this is a local coffee company. Yeah. Oakland, California. They always say to buy your coffee local. So I did that today. And it was roasted in October 2020. So it was recently roasted. But look how cute the packaging is. They did great on branding. This is from Coffee Manufactory. And then the most exciting thing I got, y'all know what these are? Hint, hint, it's like a Christmas song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Look, whole chestnuts. I looked up in Whole Foods if you can roast chestnuts in your oven and they said you can so guess what i already have my oven preheated to 425 and i'm about to roast these chestnuts and i'm so excited okay they say that you need to cut like an x on the top this is probably dangerous the way i'm doing this right now i figured out how to put x's on these you have to set the chestnut on your counter and you have to like hold it like this and like saw it. You can't just hold the chestnut, you know what I'm saying? So you have to like go like this and then you get an X on it and that will make it so that it doesn't explode in the oven from the pressure. That's what it said on mine. So I'm gonna go do that to all of these. Marcus is home. Come say hello to the video. And come see what I'm doing. It's our new tradition. What is it? Whoa, well, what are these? I'm roasting chestnuts <laughs> on the open fire. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That is cool. I've never even seen a freaking chestnut in my whole life. Hold one. They're like kind of like. My hands are so disgusting. Oh. I gotta. I was in the LA River. I gotta go wash my whole body. Yeah, you gotta go shower. Right, I'll be maybe. back. See you. I'm disgusting. You'll just be um smelling chestnuts roasting. I look like this 
And now they're going in the oven at 425 degrees. I hope it smells like Christmas in the house. Okay, see you when they're done. Okay, the chestnuts have popped open. So I'm taking them out of the oven. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Look at these. Little chestnuts. Now you put them in your kitchen towel and you crunch them. It said you should hear them crunching. I hear them crunching. Here's the middle of it. You can see it's still steaming. It smells like salty, kind of. Okay, I know exactly what this tastes like. To me, it tastes like a sweet peanut. Like, do you know the texture of like boiled peanuts? It's the texture of a boiled peanut, but a little bit sweet. I have a feeling that you're gonna think it tastes the same as how I think it tastes. I don't even, should I ask what to expect? No. This is a roasted chestnut. A roasted chestnut. Looks like a huge um, a walnut. walnut yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, interesting. Um, my immediate thing is like it's a walnut mixed with a boiled peanut. That's what I said. I, I said it tastes like a sweet boiled peanut, mm -hmm. like a slightly sweet boiled peanut. It's very interesting. It's pretty cozy. It also tastes like breadfruit in a yes, little way too. Breadfruit. We just got home from Cody and Lexi's. I don't even know if I got one clip of our dinner, but. <laughs> we had some pasta. It was very, very delicious. I also brought over, honey, your tail. I also brought over um, some of those cinnamon rolls that I had left over, so we had some of those. So I'm gonna hop in the shower and then I'll show you guys my little nighttime skincare routine. I feel like my skin has been very, very extra nice to me lately and extra glowy, which I've been really happy about. Okay, I just got out of the shower, put on some Christmassy pajamas. I'm gonna tie my hair up in this little hair post shower towel. This is probably one of the best inventions. You just twist your hair up like this. Bam, bam, bam. And then look at this. You button it in the back. And then all of your hair is out of your face and you don't have like a huge clunky towel on top of your head. It's the best. But I just washed my face and now I'm gonna put on a mask. This is the SkinCeuticals Clarifying Clay Mask. This is one of my favorite masks and probably the mask that I use most often. You can see here, I've used a lot of it and I just use this little mask silicone, not brush, but like little spatula to put it on my face. And anytime I feel like my skin is irritated or breaking out or anything like that, I apply this mask and I can tell the hugest difference the next morning. So this is considered a purifying treatment and it just decongests your pores. It gets rid of excess oils on your face. I especially just like to apply it throughout my T-zone. It also has chamomile and aloe vera in it as well, which are super calming. Okay, the mask is on, looking nice. I'm gonna let this dry on my face for about 10 to 15 minutes. And like I've said a million times, I am so thankful to be working with SkinCeuticals this year because they really do have incredible skincare. These are all products that I actually use every single day or once a week, and I just love getting to work with amazing companies. I'm back. And as you can probably see, the mask is totally hardened. So I'm going to wash this off with some warm water. And I also feel like my face is kind of hard to talk right now. So I'll see you in a second. The next thing I wanted to talk about really quick, even though I'm not applying this tonight because I apply it in the mornings, I still needed to talk about it because it is amazing. This is the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic Vitamin C Serum. This is a daytime vitamin C serum that is actually patented. So they have made an incredible formula and I'm sure if you're super into skincare, you've heard 
heard about this product a million times and it really is amazing. I actually gave my mom a bottle of this when she came and visited me and like a week later she texted me and was like, Kristen, that stuff you gave me has completely changed my skin in like three days. What the heck? I want you to give me another bottle when I come back. So I got my mom hooked on this too and it really is incredible. It's actually amazing at protecting your skin from different environmental factors. And the thing I think I've noticed the most after using this product for probably like eight or nine months now is the brightness in my skin. I just feel like my skin is like even, it's bright, it just feels like glowy, and I really think it has a lot to do with using this in the morning. So yes, I would definitely say this product is worth the hype. It's incredible and one of my favorite products, definitely from SkinCeuticals. And the last product I wanted to show you guys from SkinCeuticals is their AGE Eye Complex for dark circles. This is a newer addition to my skincare routine, but I have been loving it. I go on and off using eye creams, but then I really remember how much I love them when I see how much of a difference they can make, especially this one. I like to apply it with my ring finger because I know that's like your weakest finger so you're not pulling or tugging at your under eye. It's not too thick and heavy under my eyes. I've definitely tried some that I just feel like sit under my eyes and make it look really greasy and heavy. But this one, I feel like it gives my under eyes immediate like radiance, but it's not just like a gloopy mess sitting underneath my eyes. So I really, really love this product from SkinCeuticals as well. I will have all these products linked in my description box for you guys in case you wanna check them out. They would also make amazing Christmas presents too if you have friends or family that love skincare. So now that I'm ready for bed, I'm gonna go get in bed because I'm real tired. My gosh, oh my gosh, I have the hiccups. <laughs> Who's in my spot? Oh my gosh, is that a baby? Yes. It's a huge, huge, huge fat baby. <laughs> she can't be that much of a baby. Oh no. Oh my gosh, her face is getting white, Marcus. I know, it's getting very much. Like it, lo it looks very white in the camera right now. No, <laughs> you're supposed to be red, old lady. Why do I have the hiccups at nighttime? This is the worst time to get the hiccups. Well, I'm already old. Can I'm not old. <laughs> I have the hiccups. Yes. I don't think I've shown you guys this new light that we put in our room. It is the coziest light. Look how pretty the light rays come <laughs> off of it. Why do I have the hiccups? Oh, no. We folded some laundry that we have to put away. Tell, tell them the new show that we've been watching. Survivor. <laughs> we've been watching Survivor. We've only watched two episodes, but I feel like it's gonna become our new show. Mm -hmm. I have the hiccups, I'm gonna have to do something about it. You're gonna have to get me ice water, I think. <laughs> oh no, she's got the yuck ups, mine. Okay guys, we love you. We're gonna go to sleep now. I hope you have sweet dreams if you're watching this before bed, and I hope that you have a great day if you're watching this in the morning. And if you like this video, oh my gosh. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you very soon. I think I just did our channel's outro. Mm -hmm. Love you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.